Hi you guys, Sarah here from Crochet Lefty and today we're going to learn this two color wave stitch. Now once you get the hang of this stitch down you won't need a pattern and it's just some single crochets, half double crochets and double crochets and that makes the wave here. So let's get started. Now for this you're going to need your hook, your scissors because you're going to need to cut your yarn and your needle to weave in all your wonderful ends. Now I'm going to be using some Karen Simply Soft here and a strawberry and then I also have some gray, uh, some heather gray here and I'll be using this yarn's recommended I'm pretty sure it's a five millimeter, yeah, a five millimeter H hook. So I've got my yarn here. Now to do this stitch, it is in multiples of eight plus one plus one. So if you need, if you want to make a, a baby blanket or a scarf, you'll need those numbers for sure. So start off with your slip knot, and I'm going to chain up my 16 for my multiples of eight, and then I will add my plus one and my plus one at the end. And I've already lost count. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my 16 chains and then my plus one and plus one. So we're going to skip this first chain here and we're going to do two single crochets into the next two chains. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then again one single crochet into the next stitch. Now in the next stitch we're going to do one half double crochet. And you'll do that by yarn, put a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through one and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then in the next three chains here you're going to do one double crochet into each chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. Repeat that two times. And then next stitch, one half double crochet. In the next three chains here, one single crochet for each chain. In that next chain, one half double crochet. And you can start to see already the wave. And in the next three chains, one double crochet for each chain. So I got my two, three double crochets. Now I'll do a half double crochet. And then, sorry, it was itches. In these last two chains here, you're going to do one single crochet for each chain. And I'm splitting the yarn. Okay, so we have our first row here, and we can really see that wave there. Okay. Now for the next row you're going to chain up one and you're going to do one single crochet into each stitch. 
don't change colors yet. So in that chain one in your very first stitch, one single crochet and one single crochet across. So there you go, you got your first couple of rows, and now we will switch colors and do so by pulling up that loop there and cutting your yarn. Make, make sure you have left yourself enough so you can weave in your end nicely. Okay, moving on to our third and fourth row, we're going to change colors here. I've got my gray. Now the way I change colors is not the correct way, but in my opinion it's a little more secure. So I just bring in my yarn, I make sure I have enough to weave in at the end, and I just simply make a little knot here. And I just feel it's a little more secure than the, uh, the correct way. Now we are going to begin this row because we ended with two, two single crochets and the half double crochet and then our double crochets. We're going to begin with two double crochets. So we're going to chain up three, and this chain three is going to count as your first double crochet. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch, and then a half double crochet into the next. And then three single crochets. So we are ending our, our top of the wave and coming down to the bottom of the wave. And we're going to do a half double crochet and then three double crochets into the next three stitches. Okay, one half double crochet. and three single crochets. One half double crochet and ending with two double crochets at the end. So we want to make sure as we are going down and up on our first row that we are going up then down to get that wave here. Okay, now we will chain one and do a single crochet across the row. At least when you're working this pattern, go, the going back across the row with the single crochet keeps all of your ends on one side so you're not left with double the ends. Now 
don't forget that chain three is your double crochet so make sure you get a, a single crochet in the top of that chain three Okay, from here you're going to make sure you pull up a nice loop and then cut your yarn turn your work and then add your new color Now for our next row here, you're going to chain one and one single crochet into that first stitch and then one single crochet into the next. So where you ended with a double, two double crochets, you're going to start with two single crochets and then your half double crochets and then three double crochets. Now you can start to see the pattern is repeating itself so we're back to our row one where we started with two single crochets, half double crochets, three double crochets, half double crochet, and then our three single crochets, half double crochet, three double crochets, half double crochet, and then ending with our two single crochets. Now from here you will chain up and you'll go across your row again with your single crochets and you can really start to see the wave now just with these couple of rows here. Okay, So that is it for today's stitch video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did please hit that like button and if you would like to continue to see stitch videos just hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great one. Bye, you guys.